Yeah. Not these mother trucking bitch whores. What? There's a fucking hole in these shorts. I just got these son of a bitches. I'm gonna take it back. Gosh damn it, you dumb bitch. Well, hey girls. Hey girls. Welcome back to Unfazed and Unbothered. I'm Camo. Um, I'm very fucking <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I went to Dick's today, okay? I had to get Gavin some socks and I got these, you know, basic ass Caucasian Nike shorts. <laughs> and, and I'm sitting down and I felt my, you know, crotch area. Don't ask me why, but like there was a hole in it, girl, and I'm fucking Already? Mad. Look at the fucking crotch hole. What is that, a penis uh, hole? That's your pussy. I mean, what? Uh- what? It's a big ass hole. My thing is, is, why didn't you? Did you not investigate before you checked out? You dumb bitch. And I'm talking about myself right now. Nobody else, because I'm the dumb bitch. Um, Tasia, I can't. also I had a sinus infection, so that was disgusting. That y'all had to like hear that. It was. Me. Yeah. Um, Girl, that's not me. <laughs> Girl, that's not me. All right, y'all. Tasia is so tan right now. Like, who is she? No, you know, like, when you get, like, used to, like, looking at yourself all the time? Like, okay, when I went to go get my hair done, I went to a new hairstylist. um, And, you know, I was like, you know, I just want to be blonder. Like, I'm feeling yellow. And she was like, now I'm scared. And I was like, what do you mean? She was like, your hair is not yellow. And, like, I get scared to do certain people's hair because then people like you come in and they're like, hey, and, like, the fucking... A uh, person from McDonald's, yellow, uh, fried crispy chicken, even though it's fucking blonde as hell. But anyways. Yeah, your hair is very blonde. I got off track. But what I was saying is, is you get so used to looking at yourself and then you start thinking your hair is yellow. And then you start thinking you're looking like Casper out here. But really and truly, I'm a bronze beauty queen. And you, you can't tell me nothing. You are definitely a bronze goddess right now. I don't even wear makeup anymore because I'm like, why? But see, the thing is, is the camera doesn't even do justice to how dark you are. Especially with all the lights washing you out right now. Y'all, she's so dark right now. Also, I want to take a moment, okay? Okay. For Let's... everybody to know that I am a beauty queen. But second, um, you know that thing, girl, that's not me. Okay, so this is how I think about myself. When people look at my Instagram, okay, they think, wow, what a what a common collective Christian Caucasian woman. <laughs> And then you go to my TikTok and it's like, girl, that's not me. And that is so true. And like somebody had even like said that before. They're like, you know, when you look at your Instagram, like you're like, wow. And then you go to your TikTok and you're like, oh, wow. Okay, period. And that's very true. (laughs) And I am on one today. Thank you. She is. But so am I. Um, I feel delirious, a little delusional today. And I am high as fuck. Just throwing that out there. And I am not because I. She is not. Yes. Thank She's you a so sober beauty queen, but I am a different person. So. Yes. Today is a great day to be alive in America, you know? Um, so there's that. What's new, bitch? The, what's new is that I have a hole in my shorts and I'm mad. These I mean, bitches were $55 for a hole. I will be taking them back. Oh, I am. I'm going to be like, excuse me. Yeah. Um, but, anyways. Okay, y'all, I did some embarrassing shit. And I just have to let you girls know that sometimes I really think that maybe I'm fake. And that's just what it's come down to. (laughs) No, but like, okay, sometimes like I try to see the best in people. And even though like people are not my kind of people, like I will try to give them a chance and Mm -hmm. see where it goes. So remember that one time I was talking on the podcast and I was saying that like I was in the trenches with this girl and like she was very mean and blah, blah, blah. Well, anyways, um, long story short, a bitch hung out with her yesterday and don't know why I did it. Don't know why I did it. Um, we, we were, <laughs> the photo, <laughs> but we Not were, my best friend. She a real <laughs> bad bitch. Okay. And so we really weren't even friends in there. Like, she's just, no ma'am. But um, she, we're friends on Facebook, and, you know, she just asked to, like, hang out or whatever. And I was like, you know what? Like, that's fine. Like, that's cute and gorgeous. So we hung out, and moral of the story is never again. And FFLs. She was asking to make TikTok. She was asking – she was – she made a video on the way here, and the audio was, that's my best friend. She a real – got out. And I'm that's like – so crazy, man. It is so crazy, and I'm scared. But that's all I have to say about that. I was had anxiety the whole time. I didn't feel like myself. I felt like I was slowly going to pass away. And I think I did. And I came back to life. And we love that. We love a reformed queen. 
<laughs> wow. Um, so we all made decisions. Um, I mean, let me tell you how traumatized I was. <laughs> when I, was on <laughs> I wish I could check out this picture. On the way I to, wish they could see it. On the way to get Greenly, y'all. I was praying and I was asking for forgiveness. And I'm not, I'm, this is, I'm being dead serious with y'all because my soul was so disturbed. Tejo. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was like a bad spirit. I'm telling you, I don't know. Maybe it was me. Am I the drama? But I was on the way, I was on the way to get Greenlee and I was like, please forgive me, Lord. Like, please help me to really be more mindful of who I allow in my circle because like I never again. But I learned my lesson and I was singing, there was Jesus on the way to get Greenlee. And I felt refreshed after that. But I think everybody needs to go through situations. And this year is about learning situations. Learning. Yeah. What is that Kylie Jenner meme where she was like, we're realizing, realizing. Yeah, we're realizing things. Or is this like the year of realizing things? And I'm it realizing is. Things. It is. But at least I gave the opportunity <clears throat> and never again. But you see, I feel like we make these manic decisions and like, it's always a story to tell. So it's like, I feel like we have very interesting lives because like we always put ourselves in these predicaments. Oh, and also she requested that we do a TikTok. And let me tell y'all, it was the most cringiest thing I've ever done. I didn't done. see this because I missed it. I deleted it because I was so embarrassed. Um, and so she was so hell bent on me posting these TikToks where she left. Okay. So I did. Got her out of my house immediately. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we, <laughs> on the way to get Greenlee, I, I stopped, parked, deleted the videos. They weren't even up 10 minutes. And I told her, I was like, that's so crazy. TikTok banned wow. it. I got a violation. <laughs> For the vape. Got a violation. So, yeah, I can't do that again. Um, I was like, I hope they don't delete my account. So she thinks that TikTok got a violation. But why uh, Why do people do that? Like, sometimes people just want to hang out. Like, why do you want to be like, let's make TikTok? That's why I okay, hang out with people. Okay, but like, the situational aspect for me, I would not have even entertained it because she's like twice your age and she hated you. I'm like, bitch, kick rocks. Get out of my fucking DMs. Yeah, but like, I have a hard time. Like, I don't or know. Or just not replied. I know. I, that's what I should have done. Yeah. But I feel bad sometimes because I'm like, I don't want people to think I'm being shady, but really, and truly, Girl, who cares? You don't, like, owe the, you don't owe that to anybody. You are shady. You are a shady bitch. So just accept it. Just step into your truth. So yeah. Life Girl, that's great. not me. Take that hell you alone. All right. That's enough. So how's your life going from what's new? What's new? Um, you know, life is just brand new. Yep. Um. Yep. What? Are you okay? Um, are you okay? I am great. So a lot of a lot of interesting things going on in my life. I am not gonna really dive in, but things are getting very juicy. I just made the ugliest face. It's probably very cute and gorgeous. Um, yeah, life's getting very interesting and juicy for me offline. I'll just say that I keep my private affairs a little separate, at least for now. Just for like, the time being. Right. So I'll say that. But I've also lost 28 pounds. So, <gasps> And we love that. Yeah. We do. Very cute and gorgeous. And yeah, I'm hoping by like June that I'm down like a total of like 50 or 60 pounds. So manifesting that one but yeah that's about it he I'm looks like you right there right and oh my god he looks like you yes you're lying he definitely looks like his dad but okay, i see I, I do see you in that one i usually don't see you at all it's the eyes yeah okay y'all i know that greenlee is my twin and that <clears> princeton <throat> looks like gavin but sometimes like i just want to know like is he mine like could he he looks like me i think a little he does it's just the eyes though i just need to accept it mm, mm -hmm. period Period. Thank you. So, yeah. So, I just have been really kind of stressed lately. Well, not even, not, I'm not stressed anymore. But basically, when we moved into these apartment complex, this apartment complex that we are in, we only decided to stay for about a year. Um, because, you know, we, we really felt like we only needed to stay in the apartment for a year. And the process of trying to find a house has been so hectic. Um, one being that most places will not even like rent to us because of 
our record and stuff like that. And that is the unfortunate thing that I like, honestly, when people have asked me, like, how'd you get your apartment? I never knew what that question meant. Cause I was like, I don't know. Like I just applied and they accepted me. But so basically long story short, we haven't found a house that we want to buy. Um, and my credit, you know, I basically just have, I just now got credit cause I had to get a car financed and I'm still building my credit. So I don't even have enough credit to get a house. So it's just like, a lot. Um, so basically what we're having to do is we're just upgrading into a bigger apartment for another year. And then by the time that year is up, we should be ready. Um, because the thing is, is we're not really in a rush to get a house, but it just would be better. But also like the apartment that we're in now, it's it was perfect when it was just greenly, but now that Princeton is like outgrowing his crib and stuff like that, like we really need a bigger apartment. So that's what we're doing. And we're just accepting that. So I know like I've been saying like, oh, we're moving into a house, we're trying to find a house or whatever, but it's just not the right timing right now. And everything is cute and gorgeous. So we're moving into the, it's the same apartment complex, just a bigger apartment. Um, it'll be a three bedroom and then within a year we'll be able to get the house. But either way, I'm excited. We'll have more room. And honestly, like I am happy with these apartments that we're in because even like when we were trying to see if like there was houses and stuff that we could rent, like a lot of things are not upgraded and like, it's like older, it looks older in, inside, which is fine. But like these apartments are up to date. And so it's just kind of what we're used to. So we wouldn't have been like as happy anyways um so yeah yeah well these are cute and gorgeous so <laughs> yeah everything is updated like the flooring the kitchen the only thing that could maybe be updated with the cabinets but other than that everything is what i like the cabinet yeah i do too i do too <clears throat> um but yeah everything's a process you know and i really think that everything happens for a reason and in a year, it'll be time. But until then, we're living lavish. We are. Yeah, hopefully the housing market goes down a little bit. Yeah, because the thing <clears> is, <throat> is like, even my dad was like, why don't you just spend the money on it? But this is, I don't want to have to literally spend like every dime and penny because my credit is bad. You know what I'm saying? I would rather build my credit a little more and be able to what is it called when the bank like helps you like a loan or something? Yeah. I'd rather just build my credit because I need to build my credit anyways. I'd rather just keep building it. And then, you know, in a year or so, if the market hasn't gone down, then oh fucking well. But like the market could go down um, because also it would suck to spend $500,000 on a house and then the market goes back down and then we fucking don't get shit out of right. what we paid. So everything happens for a reason. And I really do think everything it's God's timing and he sees something that we just don't see right now. So that is tea and crumpets and cookies. I feel the same way. <clears throat> What's crazy is, is that we're moving into a bigger apartment and it's cheaper than what we're paying now. That's what's crazy to me. Like what? How does that even make sense? It was weird because we got a letter in on our door and it was basically saying like, hey, if you want to stay in your apartment, your the rent's going to go up this, blah, blah. And we were like, okay, whatever. And we were originally going to stay here. And I just told Gavin, I was like, um, no, we have to move to a bigger apartment. Like, I don't care what it takes. We're moving to another apartment. This is, it's going to be too small. Um, so um, I went up uh, and had to do a transfer fee and like sign a new lease and all this stuff. And the lady was like, by the way, the price just dropped. And I was like, how? I was like, that's literally cheaper than what we're paying now. She was like, I don't know. She said, really, it's just supply and demand. I'm like, girl, that's fine with me, girl. That is crazy. It is crazy. That's a blessing. Does she have a package coming? I don't know, but I did get one package. Um, it was Princeton's little bum bum clothes. So I wonder what that is. Well, any second now, we're here or not. Oh, period. We love packages. I love package time. I do too. I get really upset when I pay for next day shipping though. And like, it's... Like mm, two or three days later? No, it's two weeks later. Oh. That happens to me a lot. And it's with some of the biggest companies. And like, I really like them. And then like, I'll message them and they're like really rude to me. Or like, they'll read my message and not reply. And like, I am an active buyer. So I'm like, I'm very offended. I would be too, honestly. I would stop fucking with them. 
sometimes like that's how like I feel, but I'm like, I love their clothes. There's only certain like clothing for kids that like I can really deal with. Like, for example, I used to get a lot of Greenlee's pajamas from Target because like they're cute and they're cheap and all these things. And then like you wash it a couple times and it shrinks and like they just don't last long. And then I got really obsessed with like the bamboo materials and they're more comfortable. They're stretchy. They stretch more. They can like grow, grow a little bit and still be able to wear them because of the material. Um, and also like when I was a kid, I was really weird about like textures on my skin and Greenlee's the same way. Mm. Like there's certain things that she doesn't like. And so if I wouldn't wear it, I don't want my kids wearing it. And there's some things like, um, like that I'll get kid clothes at and like the material is just not there. And so I am obsessed with that bamboo material. Like I spend too yeah, much it's money. Very stretchy. Yeah. And like it, you can wash it several times. It's like worth the money. And really it's not that expensive. Like if you really think about it, like maybe it is like I spent like 30, I spent 30 to $45 on a pair of pajamas for them, but it's worth it. I mean, it's like a, it's, a, it's definitely a little pricey, but it's not like, you know, but like, for example, with Greenlee, what I usually do is I'll size up. So really she's in a two T, but I'll buy her three T pajamas. So she wears them for a while, you know, Tasia's computer always has technical difficulties. Which doesn't make any sense because it's like the newest MacBook. Apple, what's going on? Yeah, it's very... I also like had to go and delete like 10,000... Like literally it was like 10,000 pictures. Because oh there's God. just not enough storage and like... Yeah. But also like I think I'm going to go switch to AT&T tomorrow because Verizon is trash. Yeah, I have pretty good service here. Well, I'm so sorry. I have he two bars. Me in today and it's like my only day off and I didn't answer. This is important. Guys. It's my only day off. So I'm not going to go in. But if he was wearing like an Irish cap, had like a beard and he's kind of short, then yeah, that was him. He's pretty stuck up. He's an ass. But we never stick the car reader out the window. That's like a thing. We're not supposed to do that. But I am so sorry. We owe you one. Next time I'm working, then I She's got so you. Sweet. Don't worry about it. Who is that? Um, she works at the Starbucks that I go to. So that's another thing. I went to the Starbucks today and I love my Queens at my local Starbucks right here. They're always so sweet to me. They always ask how I'm doing, how Greenlee's doing. Like they're just so nice. Greenlee will want to roll down the window and say, Hey to them. They always talk to her. They've given me like free Starbucks so many times. Um, but I went there today and the girls that I usually see are not up there. The person who took my order was very nice, but then I get to the window and this motherfucker is pissing me the fuck off. He was like, so you just want an empty cup? And I said, I'm thinking, what the fuck are you talking about, Wilson? An empty cup. Because I got a ice caramel macchiato, a venti water, and an empty cup so I can mix my drink. Okay, period. He was like, so you just want an empty cup? And I said, no, I got an ice caramel macchiato and a water. And yes, I do need an empty cup still. And he laughs at me. Like, literally laughs. And I'm thinking, what the, is there somebody behind me? Like, what is funny? And he sticks the card reader out of the machine, like the card reader machine out the window. And I didn't know what the fuck that was. I'm a material girl. I've never fucking used that shit. (laughs) I'm dead ass serious. I don't know what this robot thing is looking at me. So I'm sticking my card out or I'm like going like looking at him and he's like, stick the chip reader in the machine. I said, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I've never used this before. He goes, uh, you haven't used a card reader machine before. And I'm like, I said, no, I haven't. So I just used it. You haven't? No, I really haven't. What? Yeah. Everywhere I've gone, I've never had to. What are you doing? Swiping it? No. So this machine, it looked weird. Like I've never seen this machine before. Like he, it was like a small ass machine and you stick your card. I've never seen it. I didn't know what the fuck it was. I thought he was trying to like fight me or something. So I was like, is this, an, is this what life is about? Like this good robot. Night. Anyways. So he was like, okay, well you can have a good day. Just being a fucking total dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> fucking. He's like a fucking dumpling Daniel or some shit. So <laughs> I just drove off. I just drove off and I, I messaged my girl. I follow her on Instagram and I was like, is that your fucking manager? Cause he's a fucking dipshit. And so she told me that, yeah, he's like that. Ugh, what a bitch. So life is just so gorgeous. Today is just a marvelous day to be alive and breathe air. And um, I feel so happy to be alive. And my pussy is just full of joy and excitement. Um... And here we are on this day together. We love it. 
<laughs> Ew. <laughs> I think we're on one today. We are. I am not on one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What okay. is this episode, y'all? I don't know, but I'm living. I'm I'm live, laugh, loving, mama. Live, laugh, love. Okay, so we're going to go on a little break. <laughs> we'll be right back. Th- for three minutes in? <laughs> we didn't take a break yet. Yes, we did. Oh, we did. Never mind. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We got to make sure we get them breaks and I'm not trying to get yelled at today. <laughs> oh my gosh um why did it sound like your shoe just farted it queefed <laughs> I so can't. um these dumb bitches upstairs i'm so oh like, they're moving out right yeah they're moving out but they're so annoying i'm like i <laughs> i'm not kidding bitch i got out of my car the other day my car stays clean girl it mm. has to stay clean it just has to because like i have so much shit going on like in my mind it like will stress me out if it's not clean girl <laughs> So anyways, I get out of the car and this bitch, her car, she got a whole goddamn chicken wing on the fucking seat. <laughs> a chicken wing on the bare seat? Yeah, on the bare Not seat. Not even on a napkin? No. It was so messy. I, it was like crumbs. It looked like somebody took bags of Doritos and goldfish and crumbled them all up in the car. There was trash everywhere. And then I, all I could see was that chicken wing looking at me. <laughs> Girl, I, are you hungry? No. Girl, I don't even eat meat. And it was staring at me. And I told Gavin, I was like, why the fuck do our neighbors have chicken wings in their car? She she's saving her leftovers. I'm like, what in the fucking she's gonna want a dumpling snack Daniel later. is this? Like yeah. <laughs> I cannot. Oh my gosh. Ever since I saw that dude at the drive-thru, I've been calling him a dumpling Daniel all day. I can't stop saying it. But anyways, I want to call the fucking apartments and be like, when the fuck are these bitches supposed to move out? Because y'all told me a week ago they're about to move out and I Still maybe they have like 30 days. Well, maybe they need a 30 day their ass somewhere the fuck out because I'm fucking sick of it. Yeah, they're so loud. They body the slam each other upstairs. Be they three. body slam. Yes, they'd be like 3 a.m. and I'd be making the baby a bottle and you hear like, boom, <gasps> boom. <laughs> There's, you see that right there? You see that thing on the fucking ceiling? Uh-huh. That is from us banging the broom. Oh my God. Because they're so gosh damn loud. And they fucking hate us. They're probably like, these stupid bitches. Well, y'all are fucking stupid bitches. Right. Anyways, I'm done. I'm it, it, Even talking about these bitches gets Not as like w- having all these problems with our neighbors. I mean, because Bilson's fucking weird as shit, too. He don't even say that to me anymore. Because the last time he said something to me, I gave him, I gave him the death stare. I was like, a gremlin. <laughs> what happened? I, I walk outside because I, I got tired of it. I, I go outside. I'm leaving, bitch. <laughs> and he's like, oh, wow, stranger. I ain't seen you in a minute. There's a reason for that, Papa. <laughs> like, yeah, Pops. We're not friends. I we're not cool. I don't have time for this. Well, I was just like, okay, and walked off. Well, then the next time he said something, I literally go like that. I, if y'all are looking at this on the audio I lit, or on the visual, I literally go like this. And turn around and walk off. And ever since then, because I'm tired, even if you give him the smallest little okay or hey or yeah, he's going to keep on. Inch, they take a mile. A mile. So right. now I just, I stopped being nice. I stopped feeling bad because I don't feel bad. Yeah, you shouldn't. And I just didn't say anything. And now he just looks at me and doesn't say a word. And you shouldn't. And you shouldn't. No, know your place, Papa. Like, we're not friends. We're not cool. We're not homies. We're not girls. So get out of my pussy. He was just always sticking his fucking head in. The business in the mix, girl. Yeah. Definitely. Remember when I screamed and scared the fuck out of him? I'm making biscuits. I'm just making biscuits. That shit was so funny. I can't. I can't with him. No, my neighbors, everyone keeps asking, like, what's the update with my neighbors? They know their place. They've not bothered me since. Um, it's just like, I don't understand that. Like, why are mm-hmm. people... Sometimes this brings me back to the trenches. I'm dead serious. In, in the trenches, obviously... Nobody cares. It's a free for all. It's a mm-hmm. doggy dog world. Nobody gives a fuck if you're sleeping, bitch. I'm gonna get pots and shit and bang them in your ear. Okay, period. And I feel like I'm having to relive this because these bitches in here, <laughs> like they are so rude. <laughs> like, are y'all from like where are you from? Like, were you raised in a barn? And then upstairs, these motherfuckers will fucking be arguing in the stairwell. They will in the be stairwell. In the stairwell. They'll Bitch, be, go in your closet. Like, go in your she room. She will be yelling and he will be leaving. And he'll be like, fuck you, bitch, in the fucking stairwell and shit. And they'll be arguing. I'm like, I can hear y'all in my home. Oh, my, my kids, we're raised in a Christian home. <laughs> we 
they don't hear that type of language. They don't hear that type of shit. I don't cuss. Never. So it just, you know, have some respect. Have some class. <laughs> have some goddamn consideration. Pinkies up, bitches. <laughs> but no, um, they're just rude and I'm sick of it. They'll be arguing outside and like getting nose to nose and shit. And you know what I do? I pull up the blinds and I just start watching because I'm so tired of them. And hey. like, yeah. Yeah, but they've, they've gone to the point of, like, trying to block me in my parking space and shit. So, you know what I've done? I've called corporate. I've called the office. And I've said, I feel I feel threatened. I'm scared. I'm screaming. And she's like, well, they're moving out. And I'm like, uh, when? Today? Can we expedite that? Yeah. You know? Expedite shipping? Like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Y'all, please, if you're looking at the visual, don't laugh at me, okay? I need to get my nails done. I've been getting jail. Acrylic is disgusting, y'all. Yeah, we are all over the acrylics. That that needs to be a movement. Like, no more acrylics. Because, truthfully, I can't do it any longer, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really damages your nails. I always hurt myself. And, yeah. Like, what? Plus, you can't finger your pussy if you have nails. So, there's that. Period. <laughs> okay, girls. So here we are back. Um, this episode. <laughs> You're closing your eyes so you don't laugh. <laughs> I'm, I don't want to look, bitch. I'm too fucking zooted. Um, yeah, period. Muffins. Period. <laughs> period peppers. Um, okay, so we're going to end this episode by answering some questions that you girls have asked. I have a lot of screenshots and um, of questions you guys have asked in the past two weeks. So, yeah. (laughs) Um, You're the only ones. Okay, so scoops. Crip potato. Okay, period. Crip potato, crip potato. (laughs) Period. (laughs) What does your TikTok for you page consist of? Like, what do you generally see on your For You page? Dancing. Really? Yeah. I rarely see that. Well, you're lucky. (laughs) Well, you obviously are watching and engaging, so that's why it's popping up. Mm, No, maybe not. I don't know. You don't think? No, I don't engage with any of that. You probably watch it. Unless it's certain people that I follow and, you know, that's different. I have mad respect for my peoples, but... (laughs) (laughs) Eh? My For You page is usually, like, really fucked up. It's usually, like, videos of people. You know, like, they had, like, that one-off viral video, but it's because everyone's looking at that video like, is this a real person? This is really happening? Did you watch that live I sent you the other day? Of the girl dancing? You missed it. You missed a good time. Girl, the way we be sending lives to each other when people are fucking embarrassing themselves. Why do people do that? Like, there's bitches who be getting on there and they just be singing, but they're like purposely, well, they they have to know that they don't sound good. And it's just like the dancing and the singing and it's like everyone's in the comments just being so awful. But it's like, it's just like you can't look away. Yeah, because it's so interesting. It's a, it's a nightmare. Can you go to the tanning bit twice in a day? I don't think so. Okay, I was just kidding. Um... <laughs> Girls, y'all want to um, weigh in? Or can you go to the tanning bed twice in a day? That's so bad. People are like, Tasia, really? Really? I mean, girl, she's getting really dark. That was the goal. Um, Let me see. Period, period, period. Okay, I had a good one and now I done lost it. How does it feel having such a beauty queen? Oh as a my friend? god, it's just incredible, sister. I know. Okay, Nancy. He, Heiser. Oh, Nancy Heiser. Hey, period. Hey, girl. If you could go back in time, what is one thing you would change or do over, if any? Nothing. You wouldn't do something over. No. Nothing. Mm-mm. Okay, period. Per. Um. That's, that gives me anxiety even thinking about it. That's how I always have to say that. I don't know. What, would I change something? I wouldn't have got involved in certain situations, I guess. Well, then, But then again, I learned lessons, so 
And it's like helped you be. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I guess, I, I mean, yeah. Maybe I would have got my fucking eating under control sooner. That'd, that'd be about it, I guess. I don't know. I feel like we've learned lessons in every trial and tribulation. Yeah, so. and it's helped shape us into better people. Okay, period, per. Okay, so. Um. Okay. So, yeah. Um. Okay. Crazy. What? They're not. The questions are. The questions are not really giving. Um. Sorry, girls. Um, Lady Trillo asked, Camo, have you ever hooked up with a girl? Yes. I did not fuck her vagina, but everything else. So you never have done that? No. Oh, really? I thought you did. No. But, um, oh my God. You know what? That leads me to this story time. Okay, girls. This is inappropriate. So I was dating this girl, I'm not gonna say her name. We're still very cute and gorgeous, still very close friends. But I was in eighth grade, so was she. And it was Halloween, and we were trick or treating. And I was um, Fry. What is it? Fry Lord from Frylock from Aqua Teen Hunger, the show on um, Adult Swim. If you know, you know. Anyways, I was this big Fry for Halloween, and. We were trick or treating and we sat on one of like the sewer drains and she literally gave me head outside while people were walking by trick or treating. How and friendly. <laughs> How friendly? <laughs> oh my god. And people walking by, like thinking about that at twenty seven years old, I'm like, whoa, what the fuck was I thinking? What were the people passing by thinking? But, like, my costume was so big, you just, like, she fit under it. And so, like, they didn't see, like, body parts, but we look like a centipede. Like That is so nice. Anyway, so, yeah, that that happened. Um, yeah, that was an eventful time in my life, being a whore at 12 and 13 years old. <laughs> um, or however old you are in eighth grade. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, period. So, Isabel underscore one. With a mental illness, it's very hard to be productive some days. How do you fight that? I run off of, like, doing, like, just doing, pretty much I do things that I never want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll push myself into situations for that reason. Okay. Does that make sense? So you just say fuck it and you just go for it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I do the same thing, but um, I don't know. It is hard to fucking stay focused. I'll say that. No, it really is. That's one of my biggest things. And like I focus more around chaos. Like I got more stuff done when Greenlee was here versus with her going to daycare. Oh. And Gavin's the same way, which is crazy. So you perform under pressure. Yep. Okay. I do. Um, so Lacey Del Flower wants to know thoughts on poly relationships. What is that? Um, basically where you're in a relationship with, I think like two or more people. Uh-uh. Hell no. <laughs> Hell to the no. <laughs> I feel the exact same way. Um, you know, everyone live, laugh, love your life, you know? Um, but I personally just don't um, understand it. And I know maybe I shouldn't speak on things I don't understand. But at the same time, like me personally, I'm, I, if, if that works for you, period. But it would not work for me at all. And um, I just find it hard to believe that there's not like jealousy amongst, you know, multiple partners. Yeah. No, I'm very old fashioned. So I see it and I'm like, what the fuck? I, I honestly can't even say go you. Like, it just is, it's honestly weird to me. But you know what? Live your live your truth. Live your life. I'm not going to bash you. Just um, don't 
don't understand it and it's just kind of weird so <laughs> okay <laughs> the way my titties are on fire right now thank you for sharing that yeah of course thank you for listening you're welcome friend um period so yeah this episode has been beautiful and my pussy just feels liberated and alive and full of air so i'm so happy for you (laughs) on that note i think we i think we summed up today's episode though (laughs) we love y'all so much thanks for tuning into our crazy annoying lives and our mental health illnesses as y'all can see our brains are always all over the place no they really in this episode i feel like is just like shows firsthand like how our mental state is so fucked <laughs> we're just here for a good time we're here for a great beautiful gorgeous sexy time so y'all, y'all leave your reviews and do your deals period i love y'all mm-hmm. <laughs>